Boomer was my son, my only son. He was a kind person, always willing to help people, no matter what it was, and just had a big heart. His role was in intelligence and communications. He was attached to an aviation wing uh, out of Cherry Point, uh, North Carolina. And I know he, they did a lot of radio work. They were responsible as far as uh, setting up communications in the field. He did uh, uh, do a tour in Afghanistan. I just think about him a lot and I just think about where his life would have been if he would have been a nurse. Because I know he would have been caring to every patient that he came in contact with. So, I mean, I think about it all the time and how I wish that, you know, we could see that future or just see him being a nurse. I wish, you know, that would definitely come true. but. The scholarship kind of helps us get that through because every person that we help, I can say that's my son helping that person. Not me, but you know, that's my son. I guess it's my way of, you know, thanking him for being my son and, and making his dream come true through other people. It was a big step to do it. I mean, and, and when you decide that you want to start a scholarship, I mean, it's, you know, it's definitely the right thing to do for anyone, for any reason. I'll be the first to tell you, you know, to help someone out to, to get to their dreams, their goals. We did it because we wanted to remember him. That was our, originally our main goal, was to make sure that we could honor him in a way that he could be remembered way after we were gone. The second thing was that we knew he wanted to be um, a nurse. So we felt like that would be the right path for us to start the scholarship. As it catches traction, then we'll, we'll increase the amount, we'll increase the people, and uh, we'll try to help as many people as we can fulfill their dreams to become Michigan State nurses. My name is Kyle Wilson, United States Army. My name is Andrew Suzio, United States Marine Corps. I decided to serve the country to get life experience and be able to shape younger minds than my own. I was a 70 Bravo, and that's a field medical officer. So I help train the medics be able to go out and save their fellow soldiers in battle. And I chose nursing because it was the most hands-on group in the Army that I got to see and participate with. I served because I grew up in stores of my grandfather, who was a World War II vet. Uh, they were rather inspiring, um, and so it just seemed natural for me to want to join the military once I uh, graduated from high school. So my job in the United States Marine Corps, I kind of have to be a little vague, uh, but I was an intelligence analyst. I was fortunate enough to travel the world, uh, and I met all sorts of different people from every background uh, that you can imagine and I developed a passion for people, and it just seemed natural for me to then put that passion for people into action. Receiving this scholarship helped me and my family out a lot. At the time, we were going through some financial strengths moving back to Michigan and going to school and uh, with the kids, so it actually helped us be able to breathe while I was going through nursing school. A lot of people assume that just because, you know, we're veterans, we have the GI Bill, we're getting our education paid for, um, that we it's, it's rather easy to go to school, but what they don't take into consideration is a lot of veterans have, um, have had families before they go to school, they have lives, they have a lot of extra expenses that aren't necessarily covered by the GI Bill. Um, and so this scholarship has definitely helped fill the gaps and it's allowed me to go to school full time and stay on track with nursing, which is a very intensive course um, that I might not have otherwise been able to. I am Sergeant Graham. I am Sergeant Graham. I am Sergeant Graham. I am Sergeant Graham.